coming up with about three laps to, to go, but this is the opening jump for Javon Harrison of LSU. The bar is at seven, two and a half. He's the SEC champion, and he has a miss. It has been almost an hour since the event began, and that's a long time since your last practice jump, so he takes a miss at the opening height of seven, two and a half. Javon Harrison of LSU after a first miss at two, seven, two and a half, something we have not seen all season. He has not had a miss all season indoors and out. This is a second attempt at seven, two and a half. Moved his step up a bit and an easy clearance, but the whole point of starting high is to not have misses, and he does have that miss on his card. We'll have to see how that ends up affecting the final competition. Quickly over to the high jump, Javon Harrison, who with a bar at seven, three and three quarters. And he has had that miss at seven, two and a half, so he is currently tied for sixth. A first attempt clearance here would help move him up a bit. It's a three-way tie for first place between Vernon Br Turner of Oklahoma, Clayton Brown of Florida, and, and the defending champion, Tishwan Shankar of Kansas State. And there's Javon. And that was more of a long jump. Look at how long his parabolic car curve was there. He's taking off too far away from the bar. I would suggest that his coach, Todd Lane, move him up a little bit, but it was clean, it was clear, and he is over on his first attempt. Here in the high jump today, he missed it. First attempt at his opening height. Cleared seven, three and three quarters on his first attempt to take the lead. Missed once at seven, five. This is his second attempt at seven, five. Lots of daylight to spare. He's still Dan O'Brien too far out from the bar, in my opinion. He's still almost hitting it on the way down. And he, is, he appears to be just jumping out of pure power. You know, when he wants to jump higher, he just puts that foot down. I'd like to see him just really use his turn just a little bit more. And certainly, nobody know better than nobody knows better than that from than you, Dwight. It's just uh, been great to see him. Though he's so athletic, he can do that. You know, this is a young man who could make the Olympic team here in the week or two on both the long jump and the high jump. All right, John. Javon Harrison, while we weren't looking, passed 7 6 and then went to 7 3 and 7 7 and 3 quarters, cleared it on his first attempt. He's now going to match his lifetime best of 2 meters 36, 7 8 and 3 quarters. He already has the Olympic standard. He actually led the world for a while a month ago. Here's his 7 7 and 3 quarter jump. No touch. We've seen him miss twice in this competition. That's not anything we've seen all year long. So we'll come back and hopefully he'll have another shot at this. Javon Harrison's already won the event with his clearance at seven, seven, three quarters. He's passing at seven, eight and three quarters. So that would equal his personal best. He's now had the bar raised to two meters 39, which is seven feet, 10 inches. If clear, only Charles Austin's American record of two meters 40, seven, 10 and a half is better. And he would equal Hollis Conway at 7.10, which was an American record at the time. So Javon Harrison, three attempts at 7.10, his third one, the best one. He's taking his victory lap. 20 points he scored for the Tigers by winning the long jump last night. And the high jump today, 7.7 seven and three quarters, his winning height. He beats the field by four seven, inches. By so we know it's a good surface, and he'll get a chance to perform here again in a couple of weeks when he contests both events trying to make the U.S. team. And John Anderson has our double winner, Javon Harrison of LSU. All right, Dwight, uh, double winner outdoor. Double winner outdoor in 2019, double outdoor this year. He's a double, double, double kind of guy, Javon Harrison. First off, tell me, what 710 look like? It's very intimidating. That's why you got to try not to look at the bar. It's very scary when you're looking at it. Okay. Um, I just want you to wrap up this year. I mean, outside of coach shutting you down, didn't let you long jump correctly at the SEC, we won everything, and we set wonderful personal best. Just if you could sum up what this year has been for Javon Harrison. This year has really been a good year for me. I came out I came out here to prove to everybody that I'm still the best, and I'm still number one at both of my events, and I did that indoor and outdoor. So it was a great way to end the season. What do you got for us in two weeks in the trials? Stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. Double individual champ and a team national champ from LSU, Javon Harrison. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, no one has successfully done that double. High jump, long jump. Can he make the Olympic team in those events? We will find out. He told us. Stay tuned.